UCL Energy Institute was launched uh, in 2009. What we wanted to do when we established it was to give UCL a focus for the wealth of energy related research that goes on here. We also uh, put our finger on the two gaping gaps uh, in the UK uh, uh, spectrum of uh, uh, energy research, which were energy demand uh, and systems. Energy demand research, particularly around buildings, is actually very hard to do. Uh, you have to put together uh, a lot of a, a number of different perspectives in order to be able to see what's going on. At the light bulb moment was realizing that building physics on its own is not enough. As well as building physics, you also have to bring in, for example, social scientists. You have to uh, look at the way the the technical interacts with the social, and not like a pure physics and engineering problem. We have people looking at the internal workings of boilers. We have people looking at how people make decisions about investments. Uh, in energy efficiency, so they're already working on real-world problems. One of the things that our partners are telling us is that in the coming decades, they are going to need people to tackle the complex demand-side problems. Understanding energy demand and transforming energy systems is something uh, that benefits all of us. My background, uh, I did um, studied environmental science for my undergrad and then I went through to studying uh, biology MSc um, and I've always wanted to study uh, research further, so a PhD, and I thought an MRes was the perfect stepping stone between the two. I'd graduated in um, structural engineering 14 years or something before I'd started the MRes and I'd been working in the construction industry. I had started studying climate and environmental science and I'd also done some legal history and then I did a degree in architecture and decided that wasn't necessarily for me either. So I wanted, um, my goal in coming to this was to try and turn this very uh, eclectic skill set into something uh, that sort of enabled me to pick a direction. What, what appealed was the fact that it was if you like, skills-based rather than mm. content-based. So it wasn't going to teach you a body of knowledge about one particular topic. What it was going to do was to give you a very wide range of skills. UCL is, um, is such a broad church in terms of all of the, the different aspects of the university, which means that we have had this, the interdisciplinary element. When you're sort of thrown into this mixed salad of people with all kinds of different crazy backgrounds. Um, it's interesting to speak to people and learn much more about the different career trajectories that everyone has had and how these paths can cross. One of the great things about the MRes that I found is when you're talking to someone about a specific subject and they possibly don't know the answer or they're not quite clear, they'll, al they'll always be able to point you to someone who will know the answer. I don't feel quite as much like I'm a student just attending lectures because the whole point of it is that you contribute original research. So you're actually more like part of the team in some ways. It's been really interesting actually, a steep learning curve, but I've really enjoyed it.